So far in lesson two, we've looked at how users, channels, and chat rooms are created and associated with one another. We'll close out lesson two with a look at how the StreamCat application uses the AWS SDK for JavaScript to create an Amazon IVS stage for a user to enable real-time multi-host live streams. To create a stage for the new user, we invoke the create stage method of the real-time service inside of the slash register endpoint handler. The create stage method uses the IVS real-time client from the AWS SDK for JavaScript and sends a create stage command. The stage resource requires a name property. For this, we'll use the username property of the user to keep things associated and provide an easy way to retrieve the stage later on. The slash register endpoint handler collects the channel properties returned in the create stage command output object, constructs a stage entity, and associates that entity with the user. To participate in a real-time broadcast via a stage, each participant will require a participant token. We'll look more at how to generate participant tokens and create the real-time broadcasting interface in a subsequent lesson in this course. At this point, StreamCat has created all of the on-demand resources to allow a user to broadcast a live stream to other viewers. In lesson three, we'll look at how to provide a user with their unique endpoint and stream key, which are necessary to broadcast to their channel from third-party software as well as how to create several different custom broadcast experiences directly in the StreamCat application.